Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be showing you guys all of the coloring books that I got in the month of August. So this is a coloring book haul. <laughs> um, of course. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's just get right into it because I have kind of a lot of books to show. Um, yeah. So these are in no particular order. Um, I'm just going to be showing them as I had them in my shelf. Okay. Uh, one of the books that I got this month was Forest Girl Volume Number 3. Um, this one's called Moments Wooly for Yourself, um, also by A Poles. Uh, this coloring book is amazing. It has lots of new images to color of the forest girl and they're just beautiful they in this coloring book they added more animals and creatures um and it's just a great coloring book i am excited to color in this book i don't know when i'll get to it but i'm either way excited and i'm i'm excited that i own it also so I got this book off of Etsy. Um, that's where that's where it's available. The next coloring book that I got this month is Morning Scribbles coloring book number two by Chris Reinick. I actually did a coloring book full flip through on my channel. So if you would like to check that out, um, it's on my channel. Um, this is just an adorable coloring book and like look at those eyes. <laughs> um, but I am excited to color in this book as well. It is just such an amazing coloring book and I hope he continues to keep making more coloring books in the future because I love all these little characters. The next coloring book that I got this month was Tales from the Midnight Masquerade um, by Hannah Carlson. And I'm in the U.S. so I know a lot of people um, have already gotten it. If you're in the U.K. or in France, um, I'm pretty sure you've already colored in this book or own it. But I barely received my copy and it's so beautiful. And I'm so excited to get started. I just, this image is so adorable. I love ice cream. <laughs> but yeah, this book is smaller than her other books, but it still just does wonderful. The next coloring book that I got this month was, um, Mythographic Color and Discover Paradise by Fabiana Atanasia. And this book is just beautiful. Um, like, just look at this image. These images are just so, so nice. And um, as I think I've mentioned before, but the Mythographic series are all my favorite coloring books because I love how detailed the images are. However, one thing um, I know a lot of people agree are on is that um, I wish there wasn't so many hidden little items in the page because it kind of does ruin the image. Um, but either way, I'll just find a way to cover them up or just ignore that they're there <laughs> but this book is either way super amazing and I hope to color in it very soon the next coloring book that I got in the month of August was the cats and dogs an exquisite colorful journey by Constantinos Liara Mont does i'm not sure if i said that right but this book i don't know why i didn't hear of it before 
but I like love dogs and there's not a lot of coloring books with dogs in it and I'm so happy that I found this book because this book has so many dogs and cats and it's so cute like these images are so wonderful and a lot of these images are in a fisheye perspective um and like I think it's so funny and so cute Oh, I forgot to say where I got the other coloring books, but the uh, Morning Scribbles coloring book, I got it off Bindlewood.com, and all the other ones I've shown, I've got them off Amazon. The next coloring book that I got was Spongebob's Very Grown Up Coloring Book. This book was very hard for me to find because it is um, uh, completely sold out. And they don't make it anymore, but um, I found a seller on eBay that said she had a lot that she was saving up for Christmas gifts, and she just let me have one. <laughs> but I love SpongeBob, and I had to I had to get this book. This book has a lot of like sayings as well, and my one of my favorite pages in the whole book is the last page. It's a double page spread of almost every single Spongebob character that shows up and all of throughout all of the seasons and shows and I just think that that's amazing and it's gonna be super fun. If you're a Spongebob fan like me, um, let me know because like <laughs> it's just, I don't know, I, it's just amazing. <laughs> The next coloring book that I got this month was Nickelodeon the Splat Coloring the 90s. And this book is similar to the SpongeBob's Very Grown Up Coloring Book. It's the same type of paper, same type of format, and it has um five five different movies in here. Where where is it at? Hold on a second. Oh, it says right here, The Angry Beavers, Cat, Dog, Hey Arnold, The Ren and Stimpy Show, Rocket Power, Rocco's Modern Life, Rugrats, The Wild Thornberries, and Ah, uh, Real Monsters. So, yeah, it has all of those combined in this coloring book, and I'm super excited to get started in this book as well. I love all of the images. Some are simple, and some are a little more detailed. The next coloring book that I got in the month of August was Happy Birthday by Inko Kotoriyama. And this coloring book is super adorable. It's a like a storybook of these two like um they're squirrels or chipmunks. But they're traveling around the world, I guess, and like I think they're going to I think they're going to celebrate um something but the images are really nice and detailed and I I love how they look The next coloring book that I got was Fantasy Season. And this is one of the coloring books that I ordered like back in March and it barely arrived. It took four months to get here. So I waited such a long time, but I'm it was so it was so worth the wait. I love this coloring book. It's super cool because it has um, the date on the bottom, like this is January 6th, and, or not January 6th, sorry, there's page numbers on the corners, but this is the month of January, this is the month of February, 
this is March, April, like Easter, and it, it just goes throughout all the seasons and it's super nice. And I just love this coloring book. I think it's like going to be one of my favorite coloring books. Here's for October coming up. And lastly, it ends with like Christmas themes. But yes, I'm so glad it's finally here. The next coloring book I got was Coloring Heaven Haven's Coloring Collector's Issue, um, the Frightlings Halloween. This has 40 exclusive characters by Frightlings artist Tabitha Thorpe. And I got this coloring book because I feel like it might get sold out soon. And it's actually still up on their website. And it's just super adorable and very interesting images. All these images might be great to color in October, so um, that will be nice. The next coloring book that I got was Coloring Haven's Animal Wonderland Special by Kanoko Igusa. So this coloring book was already sold out. And I barely had seen a flip through not too long ago. And I was like, no, like I didn't get to buy that. It sold out. And I tried to research online on any website to see if any website had it. And no website had it. But I found it on eBay for $10. So I was just like, oh my gosh, that's for me. <laughs> and so I'm glad I did get to buy it because I love Kanoko Gusa's art. Um, it's just amazing. I love how she draws animals. And even though I find it a little bit intimidating, her animals are the cutest. And I just am so glad I did get to buy this book and that it is part of my collection. Hopefully I will get to color it soon. The next coloring book that I got was, I think it was Travel Around the World Heritage or something like that by Airy. Um, World Heritage Travel, I'm not sure. but. Um, it's one of Aerie's newest coloring books, and I love her coloring books, so I'm very glad that I got this right away. This one was also one that I ordered back in March and took four months to get here. Um, so it's finally here, and I'll see what I'll do with this. <laughs> Her art is just super nice and super adorable images. Very excited to color in this book. And lastly, um, I got the SpongeBob SquarePants and Friends coloring book. Uh, this is a Korean coloring book and it's very unique, very different than any other coloring book that I own. Um, I got it off a website called Aladdin something, but uh, if you need help ordering it, just let me know and I can do that. I also did a full flip through of this coloring book on my channel if you would like to go check that out um, because I hadn't seen any flip throughs of this coloring book and um, it's just something very different. So some pages are colored in and some aren't. And I think that makes it really fun. And it has all the Spongebob characters. There's like Mr. Krabs and then a non-colored page of Mr. Krabs and Sandy. And a non and half colored image of Sandy. And yeah, it just goes, the whole book is like that. And also some Im images are 
the same page so it's like oh copy the image or you could do it differently but I probably will copy it <laughs> but yes it's just very interesting and a very great coloring book again I love Spongebob so if you love Spongebob this book is probably for you but So anyways, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Bye!